everybody, my name is Welcome back to my channel, so we're going to get into a shaving video here. And let me get some things here together. How have you all been? I hope you all are well. And if you guys already watched my mail call, you know what I'll be using next. I'll be using Old Dominion. This will be the first time using the soap. I used her aftershave balm and it was freaking fantastic. I love this scent and she sent over this too. Awesome, awesome scent. I don't know what the heck is in here that's that got me so up. Um, something about the scent, I can't figure out what the hell it is. It's bothering me. Um, in a good way, in a good way. Um, going to be using the uh, Merker Future Replica from Q-Shave. The Q-Shave Future, as many call it out there. I will be using the Matching Aftershave Balm. And my brush of choice will be the Sterling Bore. And my blade... You guys have heard, probably already know because I don't know what the hell I'm going to use yet. Um, I had a few things in mind here. I don't know what I wanted to use. Um, I do have some blades sitting here on the side. And I think we're going to use the... What the hell am I going to use? Let's see how these do today. Interesting to see if that didn't go right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the cap. Set my razor down. I do have one shave on this razor, on this blade, excuse me. And we'll go, uh, let's start on setting. Let's start on setting one. Cause I don't, or this, the lowest setting, which is 0.5 since I don't know what the shape's gonna be like. I'm hoping it'll be okay. So, I just now got out the shower. Rehydrate the face. And let's get to loading and continuing to break in this bore. I see uh, Leroy <laughs> has been really enjoying his uh, his breaking process. It's a pain in the ass. Trust me, I know. Um, this is a brush that by far has taken the longest to break in. And I get that. But I can tell it's going to have some potential. I'm definitely going to have some potential. Just by the... Uh, just by the um, how packed, how dense this brush is, you can tell it's gonna have some bright, nice potential when it when it um when it finally breaks in. Yeah, so like I said, this soap was sent over from Irina. Again, thank you very much, Irina. I really do appreciate it. I'm just going to load a shit ton of soap in here. Every time I say that, regardless or not, because of it, them being new bores, some, some can get through three shades and some can't. I've got plenty of soap, man, in the den, uh, so I'm not worried about wasting soap this, that, and the other with all these freaking soap that we all have in our dens, um, one way or another. One of these soaps are going to go bad or not give you the performance you want anymore because you don't touch. You don't touch these soaps quite often enough anyway. So what does it matter about wasting soap?
wasting soap to me is, um, you know, tossing a freaking soap in the trash. Um, losing a few cells and overloading is not wasting soap to me. I know uh, Libra has said that it's still a bit screechy. He sent me a text the other day saying that it's fine, it's starting to break in. The tips are fine, it's starting to split. Trust me, brother, I know what it's like. pass with the green let's see how this blade does And an update on these blades. Um, they're not the vintage blades. So I'm sorry for giving you the, guys the wrong information. Um, I was just going off for information that was given to me. Okay, so far so good. Um, um that was gonna say, uh, the blade feels really good. I wasn't expecting this. I can smell my wife making breakfast. I got my water out.
second pass cross grain. And I have um, two days of growth on my face. I know a few people who talk highly about these blades, they really enjoy them. They seem to be working really well. They didn't uh, do very well in my arm. Um, they didn't do very well in my 34C. <clears throat> but they're doing right now. I know some blades in some reason can be picky with each other, so so far so good. Let's see how this against the green pass goes.
Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just trying to trickle this blade out. I'm actually pretty amazed with it, tell you the truth. Wow. All right. Give me a second. I'll be back. Do my cleanup passes off camera. Hey, let's go. No, the first, second, and third pass with this blade was good. Pickups, I was struggling. Um, and I actually got some good feedback from the Allen. All right, let me rinse off. I'll be back. All right. Ah, I love the scent of this thing, man. Of this soap. Forgot to pull out an aftershave, so. Always gotta have a burn. Gotta have an aftershave. Someone explain to me why there's guys out there like us who have to have a burn, who have to have an aftershave, an aftershave burn. So again, I put too much in here, but we'll just work it into the skin. A little goes a long ways with our bones. Awesome. All right, so wife just told me breakfast is ready. I got to get the heck out of here. So we went in with Old Dominion. Super fantastic scent. Really dig this. It's not a cologne scent or anything. It's just a relaxing scent to me. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. I love the scent. Um, we went in with the Imagine Aftershade Balm. Going in with fine snake bite. Breath of choice was the sterling boar. Razor's choice was the uh, Q shape future. Blade of choice were the uh, ster uh, sterling, excuse me, the Gillette super thin mejoradas. Uh, so. That is my shave, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much again, Irina, for this. And I hope you guys are enjoying the month of Ginger's Garden. If you like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for joining me, guys. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Later.